Hello, today I'd like to introduce you to a vehicle in the museum's reserve, the Mirage 1974. Let me put it in context. It's 1973 and Laurent Baudouin, Joseph Armand Bombardier's son-in-law, has been with the company for 10 years and CEO since 1966. To mark this anniversary, it was decided to give him a vehicle, a brand new concept straight out of the Valcourt Research and Development Center, the 1974 Mirage vehicle. This is a two-seater, originally powered by a fan-cooled Rotax 440 engine with a steel frame and fiberglass body. This vehicle bears many similarities to a classic car of the period. First of all, unlike a Ski-Doo snowmobile with direct steering, where the movement of the steering wheel is that of the ski, the Mirage's steering is rack and pinion. The instrument panel is equipped with an odometer, a speedometer, a 12-volt power socket, a headlight control, an instrument panel, and a display, headlight control, temperature gauge with heater, and even an AM and FM radio. The first version of the Mirage was white with a horizontal orange line. It was repainted in 1985 in black to give it its current appearance. The engine was also upgraded to a liquid-cooled Rotax 444. Another version, the Mirage 2, now only available in photos, offered an even more futuristic look with more windows and a one-piece chassis. Rumor now confirmed has it that this grey four-seater perished in flames during a warehouse incident. In short, the vehicle I have behind me still belongs to Mr. Laurent Baudouin, but the museum is delighted to be able to count it among the vehicles in its collection. The Mirage remains a good example of Joseph Armand Bombardier's approach to research and development. That's all for this capsule. If you enjoyed it, you can follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. See you soon.